Hi, this is the PoE power switch. We can use this switch to expand the R345 network port by using the existing internet cable. So we don't need to wire the new cable from the back end switch to each of the new IP device. Here we would like to answer some of the typical questions. The first question is which kind of cable we should pick? KFIE, K6 or K7? I think KFIE K6 will be good enough. But more important is what make of your cable? We should use the cable which is made of the pure copper. The, you, th you know, you think the power is going to travel through this cable to reach this edge switch? If we can use the pure copper switch, it, it's going to reduce the power loss. Just don't pick the CTA because the CCA will generate serious power loss during the transmission, especially you plan to connect multiple PoE IP devices at the edge. The next question is how much power budget we can get from this switch. If we plan to work with the like POIP camera, access point, VOIP phone, we need to know the total power budget this switch can supply, right? Actually, it depends on how much power is sending from the back end. If this PoE power switch is working with the high power PoE injector, which can output 90 watt, the total power budget will be 71 watt. However, if this PoE switch just working with the regular PoE plus injector or PoE switch at the back end, the total power budget is just about 20 watt. So it totally depends on what kind of PoE injector and PoE switch you are using at the back end. I think we also consider the bandwidth. Is it this switch fast enough to handle the data from all your IP device? After all, this switch will just acting like the aggregated switch. It will link to all the new IP device, gather the data and send to the back end switch. Let me tell you, each of these ports can supply 1000 megabyte per second and for IP camera, one IP camera, it's just need 10 megabyte per second. So I think it's more than enough. Is this manager switch? Can we use chunk and set the VLAN? Negative. This is just the unmanager switch with plug and play. You cannot use VLAN, you cannot set the chunk. If here we didn't cover the question you want to ask, please leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.